Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope you all will be fine. Today in this short and important video lecture, I'm going to teach you about positioning of columns or how to place RCC columns on this planning. This is very important topic. So therefore watch this video till the end to know the positions of column. Guys, you can see this is a house planning and the dimensions of 30 by 50 feet and I will show you the column positions are how to place the columns okay this is the topic if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is my whatsapp number okay this is paid services this is my whatsapp If you need house planning, structural drawing, 3D animation for any type of building, so you can contact me. Let's get started, guys. This is its front side. This is road side, okay? So these two columns, guys, you can see this is for main entrance or for main gate, which width is 12 feet, okay? And size is 9 by 12 inches. Okay? So let me get started from its front. Remember one thing guys, the principles of column position is that the column should try to, to place the column at the corner, okay? That will be better for you. So therefore guys, you can see here, the first column is placing, this is a bath and this is guest bath, okay? Guest bedroom, okay? So size is 12 by 10 feet. So here guys, I require to provide column at this corner. As you can see, this is the place to provide corner. Next guys, if you see, the length is 12 feet for this bedroom, okay? Now guys, you can see the bath is 4 feet, so we don't need to provide the column at this place because this is just 4 feet, so therefore, we cannot provide the column here. So the other column should be placed at this corner of this bedroom. So these are two, sorry, in this place, okay? So these are two columns. This is one column and this is the second column. C1 or you can say C1 okay column 1 next guys if you see so here the bath length is our width is uh, length is about 5 feet so we cannot provide the column at this place but here if you see the guest uh, the guest bed is 10 feet so this is the place to provide our CC column okay but here this is a boundary wall if you see guys this place is open so if this is a boundary wall if you see guys here, the length is about, width is about 10 feet. So 10 feet, so this is going about 15 feet. So you are able to provide the column here at this place for boundary wall. So from, from 12 to 16 feet, you can provide the boundary wall column, but not more than 16 feet. So up to, from 12 to up to 16 feet, you are able to provide the column, but the column size should not be less than 9 by 9 inches remember this okay so this is the column next guys you can see this is the place to provide column at this corner this is the other column next guys you can see this is the place to provide the column at this corner okay next guys i will provide this is just ground floor plan okay you can provide the column here okay so here we don't require because the length is here about 14 feet for this tier and also for this one okay so uh, sorry not 14 feet so this is about 12 feet this is 7 feet and this is 5 feet so this is just 12 feet so the next column you can provide at this corner okay next one guys you can place at this pl place for this bedroom okay the next one you can provide here at this place next one you can place here next you can place here because width is 8 feet next one you can place here okay this is the corner for this bed you can provide here this is the other one you can provide here this is the corner boundary corner so important to provide here this is 30 feet so provide the middle one here this is the other one corner you can provide here 
okay now come here guys this is the tv lounge so if this is the tv lounge so you can provide here no one is here okay and the size of this uh, tv lounge is about 14 feet by 13 feet okay next one guys you can provide at this corner because this is important here at this place okay so here this is 14 by 16 so 16 is length and 14 is width so already we have here the main gate and this is the last one as you can see so here this is the way to place the rcc columns guys you can see remember one thing guys from 12 to 15 feet the size are 16 feet the size of the column should not be less than 9 by 9 inches and don't use less than 4 steel rods the dia of each steel rod should not be less than 12 mm the stirrup dia should not be less than 8 mm with the spacing of 150 mm or you can say 6 inches c slash c center to center so this is very important guys okay hope this short video can help you this is just for ground floor to know about the position of columns or how to place rcc columns thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye